Hey guys, Alexis here, and we Singaporeans apparently love our mixed use and integrated developments as we can see from the recent uptake of Piccadilly, Grand, Midtown, Northern and Pasir Ris 8, all of which performed really, really well. So today we are at Lentor Hills and we're going to be checking out Lentor Modern and Integrated Development. And because this is going to be the very first project that's launched within the Lentor Estate in the last 15 years, there was a lot of anticipation and hype surrounding it. And this can be seen from the 84% take-up rate on its launch date on September 17th. At this time of recording, all one and two bedroom units have been sold out completely, leaving us only with the three and four bedroom units. So if you're all set and ready, I'm really excited to check out this place. Let's get this show on the road. I'm six foot, but with the money stabbing, I'm ten too. Too much that I be Before we head to the showroom units, let me share with you some project facts. So Lentor Modern is located at One Lentor Drive. This is a 99-year lease project that starts from 2021 and will TOP in 2026. And because this is an integrated development, you will have direct access to Lentor MRT. You will also have a childcare centre and a 12,000 square feet allocated lot for a supermarket. Now you've got a total of 605 units, which in terms of density is a good size for future appreciation. Spread across three 25-storey towers, you've got one to four bedroom units ranging from 527 to 1,528 square feet. Out of the 605 units, 51% are actually designated to the three and four bedroom unit types. So the developer actually had families in mind and is catered towards them for this project. And the developer of this project is none other than Guacoland. And they have plenty of experiences with integrated developments like Warwick Residences, Midtown Bay, Midtown Northern. And the architect for Lentor Modern is ADDP Architects, which is an award-winning architecture firm with recent projects like the Tapestry and Seaside Residences. The entire integrated development is sitting on a land plot of 16,279 square meters of land. The commercial and retail space is known as Lentor Central, while obviously the residential will be known as Lentor Modern. And because this is going to be the first project and the only integrated development within the area, you will definitely have the first mover's advantage. And as you can see from the first two levels here, you will get 96,000 square feet of commercial and retail spaces. So residents here can enjoy amenities like FMB, retail, supermarket, and of course the childcare center. And from here, you can tell the facade of the three stories. It's very telling that this is a Guacoland development from the sleek and ageless facade of the towers. You can tell that they are in grey and they're from floor to height ceiling windows. One important thing to take note is that the three towers are strung out side by side. This is indeed done on purpose, so residences here will not be overlooking one another. In terms of what view you can get, there are primarily two views that you can get here at Lentor Modern. One would be the Lower Salita Reservoir Park and the other would be the Lower Pierce Reservoir Park. Now that we're more familiar with the development itself, let's head to the show units. So this is the three bedroom flexi. It's three bedrooms, two bathrooms, standing at 1,109 square feet. Now let's head to the entrance to kickstart this home tour. So we're here in the entrance of the three bedroom unit and we're at the start on my right you get three cabinets that will house your DB box and plenty of shoe storage. And on my right is the kitchen and this will be actually covered up with a sliding door and if you head over in with me you can tell that the kitchen is nicely spaced out, it's designed in a galley fashion and what's interesting that you will actually only find in the three bedroom and up is actually the three gas burner hob. And if you follow me over here, you can have actually a dry pantry space. And actually this is the home shelter and you can use it however you want. The designers here have actually done it as a dry pantry, but you can fit in a Murphy bit and it will be used as a maid's room. And deeper into the kitchen, this is actually the yard area where you get your WC and your washer. So over here at the dining area, they have fitted in a six-seater. You can definitely fit it into up to an eight-seater if you like to host more often. And let's talk about the ceiling height. So the ceiling height is actually 2.845 meters, which actually accentuates the entire living space of your home. So you take a look at the living space, you can actually tell that the couch to TV distance is not too far for the living space, which is very good in my opinion. So now let's take a look at the balcony. The balcony is actually very well spaced. It's at 65 square meters. They fitted it with an alcove dining table and two bar stools. So you can actually do whatever you want with this space. Now let's check out the bedrooms. Okay, but before we check out the bedrooms, if you can tell actually this is pretty unique about Lentor Modern. It's the first time I've ever seen this. The marble and the timber flooring is stopped right at the living and dining area. So actually this is very good in my opinion because it clearly demarcates a space of living and dining and your sleeping quarters. Now let's take a look at the first room. So this is the first common bedroom in the three bedroom unit. And as you can tell, you do have floor to height ceiling windows and this can only be done because the AC latch is actually done up in the master's toilet. They have fitted a queen size bed for you here and you can tell that it's really spacious, it's comfortable for you to live in and you do have floor to height ceiling wardrobes as well. Now let's head to the other rooms. 
You have your common toilet over here. And there is a window, in fact, for natural ventilation. And all the toilets in Lento Modern are designed in a grey scale marble tiling. So this is the second common bedroom and what you can tell the ID has done is that they have platformed up the bed over here and they have fitted a compact study desk. It is very similar to the previous bedroom as well. And this is the flex portion of the three bedroom unit type. So what they have done here is they actually done it up into a small study and all two, three and four bedroom units have a flex room within it. So what they have done here is actually they've done it up in a study fashion. But again, up to you what you want to do with it. Hence the name, a flex room. Now let's check out the master. This is the master, it's pretty huge in my opinion. They have fitted in with a king size bed, a side table and even a vanity for the missus. Again, floor to height ceiling windows. And honestly, it's pretty spacious like, to be honest. If you can fit a vanity in your master bedroom for the missus, I'm sure it should be very happy. And you know what they say, happy wife, happy life. Now let's check out the toilet. So this is your master ensuite, and again, it's in a grayscale marble tile fashion. But this time you have plenty of storage space. You have two panels over here, your sink and basins over here, you even have more storage right below you, and your rain shower. Again, there is a window, so natural ventilation is always the best in my opinion. So now we're done with the three bedroom unit type, so now let's head to the four bedroom unit. See you there. So this is the four bedroom unit. This is the four bedroom flexi. It comes with four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and they're standing at 1,528 square feet. Now let's head to the entrance to start the home tour. Similarly to the three bedroom unit, the four bedroom also has your three cabinets here, which will have your DV box, your shoe storage. But what they have here is actually a pocket of space here for you to sit down, put on your shoes, or you can even fit in a side table to when you know when you come home, drop your keys off, and then head into your house. So if you follow me over here, you do get your dry and wet kitchen. They have fitted it with a peninsula island. You can tell that they have fitted in two bar stools for you. And you can do it like how the ID has done up. So a little bar storage space for you. Now let's do the kitchen. And over here in the wet kitchen, you are greeted by your double door French fridge by Smeg. You have plenty of countertop space within this four bedroom and plenty of storage as well. And you have your dish rack that's already attached to the wall to save even more space for you. You have your oven over here and if you follow me deeper into the kitchen itself, this is where your yard is, your WC, your washing area. Again, you do have nice windows in the kitchen for heavy cooking. And now if you follow me into the home shelter, and remember how I said you could fit in a Murphy bed? Well, in the four bedroom unit, they have fit in a Murphy bed into the home shelter and convert it into a living space for your helper. Now let's head to the rest of the house. So now if you follow me, this is the junior master. It's tucked away from the rest of the bedrooms on my right, so let's check it out. So coming in, first of all, it is really, really spacious. It's very comparable to the three bedroom master in my opinion. They have fitted it with a queen size bed. Now let's check out the junior master's ensuite. So this is the Junior Master's Ensuite and you can tell it's very similar to the 3 bedrooms Master, so check it out. This is your dining area, they fitted it with an 8-seater. You can go up to a 10-seater if you do like to host, like I said earlier. So now let's follow me to the balcony. So this is the balcony, which is my favourite part of the house personally. It is standing at 130 square feet in size and you can tell what the IDs have done is actually they have fitted in a mini barbecue area. You can copy them if you like. They have fitted in a four-seater alfresco dining area. So it's really big and you can get creative with the space. You want to do it into a fitness corner, you can. If you want to do it into a children's play area, just put up the zip tracks and you're good to go. Now we head over here into the living area. Again, because of the rectangular shape of the living and dining, you can intersort the spaces if you like and just choose how you want to plan your home accordingly. Now, if you follow me here, there's actually a small bar counter. You do get your wine chiller over here and two cabinets. Now, let's head to the bedroom. So this is the first common bedroom in the four bedroom unit. It's pretty much similar to the three bedroom unit. Now, let's check out the rest of the house. This is your first common toilet in the four bedroom unit, again with the grey marble tiles and your window for open ventilation. But what's unique about this toilet is actually this is a Jack and Jill. So if you follow me over here, it's actually connected to bedroom number two. And in this bedroom, they have done it up in a way where you can tell if you're a gamer or not. They have fitted in a small desk here for your gaming setup and they accentuated the space with the cove lighting over here. So now let's check out the flex room. So this is the flex room in the four bedroom unit. 
like we saw in the three bedroom unit it was done up in a study but here they have done it into a walk-in wardrobe i personally really appreciate the flex room in the two three and four bedroom unit types and personally what i would do instead of this walk-in wardrobe would be actually to set up my gaming setup over here and this would be my little private man cave for myself so now we head into the master bedroom so this is the master bedroom and you can tell it's really really huge this is fitted with a king size bed you have two side tables over there you have ample space to walk through i mean if i can fit into this then you can tell it is really quite spacious automatic lighting for you whenever you open your wardrobe and now let's head to the master ensuite so this is the master ensuite check it out so we've come to the end of the four bedroom unit and before you go let's talk about some facts that you might want to know about its location so as you know, residences here will live above Lentor MRT and from there you can take two stops down to Bright Hill MRT which is also going to be an interchange for the new Cross Island Line, Singapore's longest MRT line to date, later to be completed in 2030 on its first stage. And by 2040, the extension to Changi Airport Terminal 5 will be completed. So actually you do get a lot of short-term growth and long-term growth when buying into Lentor Modern. For young families, if you talk about primary schools within the vicinity, of Lentor Modern. In 1km, we do have Anderson Primary, Mayflower Primary, and the very popular CHIJ St. Nicholas Girls School. For private transport, we have a network of highways around, like the CTE, SLE, and the upcoming North South Corridor. So, we've seen the three bedroom and the four bedroom units here at Lentor Modern. So, let me give you my closing thoughts on the project itself. First of all, this will be the first and only integrated development within the area itself. Therefore, you will have the first mover's advantage, but because of the other land plot sales that are around the area, you will face some construction at the end of the day. But this is a plus point because we know that other projects that are launched nearby you will affect your capital appreciation in a positive manner. Secondly, is that we know that Guacolan has actually purchased a second land plot in the Lentor area itself. So this is a plus point because when a developer has more than one project within the area, it gives them a stronger power, holding power, and a better hold on the price. And if you take a look at their track record, I can comfortably tell you that they know how to redevelop an area. If we just take a look at Midtown Modern and Midtown Bay, they have done a fantastic job over there. Thirdly is that all the commercial and retail space here will be managed by Guacoland itself. So it's not strata owned and this usually means that the curation of tenants will be better for you residences. And lastly, because residents here have direct access to Lentor MRT, this will ensure great connectivity throughout the entire Singapore. And if you'd like to find out more about this project itself, do contact our listing directors in the description box down below. Thank you guys for following us on our first very revamped Tia Fellas home tour. And we hope to continue to educate and entertain you guys in the future. So remember to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos like this. I'm Alexis from Tia Fellas and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Hey guys, Alexis here. And today, what's my line? So this is your. I would have. What was the line? That's it, right? To the bedroom quarters. Yeah.